Alright, Shalom. It's the brother from the GMS circle and I came back with another video. Before we go any further, we all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kargo, Dash, Devonus, and the other apostles of great most from Pratishan, to represent truth according to the Bible and rule well. In peace and blessings, so flight that the nation of Israel today through spirit and power, Yahweh by Shema Shai. No going to get into a lesson. On how this word, you know, it cleanses us. You know, this the word is what baptizes us from the pollution and filth that this world promotes. You know, sticking to the scriptures. You know, repenting. You know, this is what makes us clean in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shai, and that was the whole point why Yahweh Shai came on the scene. You know, but you have a lot of these Christians in the churches. You know, they're still doing. You know, where you get fully submerged in the water, well, you have to get fully submerged. Your mind needs to be fully submerged in this water, you know, the word. Just going to bring out a couple of scriptures proving that, and Lord's willing. Lord's willing, this lesson is edifying. This is uh, St. Matthew's 3 and 11. It says, I indeed... I indeed baptized you with water unto repentance. So John the Baptist, you know, hence the name, he said, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. So he baptized with water. Let's get this word, uh, baptism, baptize. Um, it, it, it's, it's the same word. Um, doesn't really matter which one we get. Let's get this word baptized. It says to dip repeatedly, to to immerse, to submerge, uh, to cleanse by dipping, submerging, to wash, to make clean with water, to wash oneself, bathe. So to make clean, to clean yourself, you know. Let's see. It says Saint Matthew three eleven. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear, he shall talking about Yahweh Shai, he shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. You see? So what's the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is this word, you know. This is Saint John. And that's what we're gonna focus on, you know, the Holy Spirit baptizing us today. Um, let's get the seventeenth chapter first. This is Saint John. Um, 17 and 17, it says, sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth, you know, so if you look at the word sanctify, it means to cleanse, to make holy, you know, let's get that, it says, to render our knowledge, uh, it says, uh, to separate from profane things, and profane means outside the temple, you see, to separate from profane, profane things, Dedicate to the Most High. It's okay, brothers. It says, dedicate means to devote, inscribe. It says, to cleanse externally. See, to cleanse externally. To, purif to purify by um, ex expansion. Um, it says, free from guilt or sin. To purify internally by renewing the soul. See, that's the one. That's the one. It says to purify internally by renewing the soul. And how is that done? By the Holy Spirit. By the Word. This is by this truth. You know, the true gospel being pushed out. Because not everyone has the one percent truth. You know, that's why it's important that this truth goes out. You know, in its correct form. So you may be cleansed. Let's get St. John. 6 and 63 is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life this word is what quickened us from that dead state that dead mind state of living you see because the heathen are part of that congregation of the dead and we were once among that congregation you know living a lifestyle of death living a lifestyle of sin, you know, eating pork, eating shrimp, crab, lobsters, you know, committing adultery, which is sleeping with the next man's woman, you know, uh, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, these things 
are a life of death. Those things lead on to death. But the spirit, which quickened us, you know, which makes us alive, because you look up that word, it means to make alive, is the spirit that quickened us. You know, we are once in that dead state, but now it's quickened us. The word, the flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, the, the words of the Bible, they are spirit and they are life. You see, these words, the words of the Holy Scriptures is what gives us life. This is um First Corinthians, um, chapter one, verse seventeen. For a Mashiach, you know, for the anointed, meaning Yahweh Shai, sent me not to baptize, but to, to preach the gospel. You see, because that's what's really important, preaching the gospel. That's how you're going to cleanse your ways, by taking heed to the truth. For a Mashiach sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, least the cross of a Mashiach should be none effect. You know, let's get, um, let me get this in Micah real quick, you know. It's important that we be cleansed from this world. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye in the part, you know, it means arise, you know, just like we were quickened by the word, we are going to arise, you know, we're going to be quickened, we're going to rise out of that dead state, and we're going to depart, we're going to separate ourselves from America, you know. We're going to use this world, but not abuse it. It says, Arise ye in the part, for this is not your rest. America is not our rest. You know, we have a rest coming. You know, it's in the kingdom of heaven. You know, now we have that hope, which is that expectation that if we continue in all things that are written therein for us to do, then we're going to receive that kingdom. You know, that's our faith, even though we cannot see the kingdom being built, you know, well, we can, you know, those for eyes to see and ears to hear, you know, we can see it with the brethren, you know, but we cannot see the physical, um, the physical building, you know, the, the cities of gold, you know, and that's what we are fighting for. But America is not a rest. It's, why? Because it is polluted. This place is polluted, you know, with its false doctrines, different uh, ideologies and philosophies that it wants to push out. On the world, a man with man, you know, woman with woman, that you should do whatsoever you please, you know. If it feels good, then do it, you know. If a if a, if a child wants to become a um a, a little if a little boy wants to become a little girl, you know, he should do it. If he wants to paint his nails, do it, you know. You know, don't don't let people judge you. You know, that's what this world promotes. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. You know, you see, our people have begun to become polluted by not taking heed to the word. This is, um, that's why you need this word to cleanse you from that pollution. This is St. John 15 and 3. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Now you are clean through the word, you know. You have become born again. I'm going to bring up two more scriptures. I'm going to close that. Lord's willing, I do, you know, the spirits. I'm going to do a second lesson on this, you know, going into the fire, you know, how we're cleansed. You know, us getting, gaining that experience is what cleanses us, you know, like it tells you in Romans and many other scriptures. You know, I may do that if the Lord wants me to. This is um, Psalms 119 and... Let's go straight to the point, verse 9. It says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? So by taking heed to to the words of the Lord, that's how you're going to uh, cleanse your way. You know, with this uh, shamar, if I'm not mistaken. I don't want to uh, click on it because it's going to cut out the audio. It says to keep... Guard, observe, take heed. So to watch, watch for it. To watch, observe. Um, to um. So you're watching and you're observing to keep, to keep. You see, it says to keep, to to pay attention, to pay heed. It's like that's what I meant to say. You know, 
So to keep, you might actually do these things. You keep them in your mind. So when it's time of temptation arise, you may arise and do these things, you see? Um, you know, you know that, let me get Matthews, the third chapter, and we'll close down this. This is Matthews 3, um, it's like it, John, the third chapter. This is John 3 and 3. St. John chapter 3, verse 3, Yahweh shall answer and said, Verily, it said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Yahweh shall answer, Verily, verily, I say, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. So you got to be born again. You got to become a new creature, you know. But for time's sake, you know, Lord's will and this blessing was edifying. You know, you become that new creature. You repent to Yahweh by Shema Shai, and you come and walk. And follow the ways of the Lord to the best of your ability. You see? And put off the, the works of darkness. That's how you're going to enter into the kingdom of the Most High. The kingdom of the Most High, neither shall they say low here or low there. But the kingdom of the Most High is within you. So that we have already started building the kingdom. And it starts with this knowledge. In order for you to receive this knowledge, you must repent. You know, wisdom will not enter into a malicious soul. Nor subject... Uh, uh, nor be a uh, subject unto a body, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. You know, talks about the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee, you know, uh, evil thoughts. You know, I believe that's in the book of Wisdom of Solomon. But you know, if the Spirit's on me, I'll do another lesson on that. You know, I do want to do a lesson on pride today. But Lord's willing, this lesson was satisfying through the Spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Give all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekach, Badash, Devonus, the elder apostles, the great Muslim, teaching us to present truth according to the Bible more well, and peace and blessings to the flag of the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom.